Hi there, David Veit. Uh, we're in my glass shop, and I'm about to fabricate a part out of quartz, and I just thought I'd show you how that's done. I have a piece of quartz tube chucked up in the lathe here on two graphite spindles. Uh, the graphite spindles have holes uh, in them so I can pass air uh, in these uh, blow hoses. Uh, I'm just going to do a separation and uh, kind of test tube bottom, uh, make two test tube halves, short test tubes, uh, the prefab uh, for a part. And uh, so we're, we're, I'm using quartz uh, as opposed to Pyrex or borosilicate or other soft glass. Uh, this is pure uh, silicone dioxide. It's pure silica uh, quartz, uh, also known as clear fused quartz. And uh, it's uh, pretty extreme as far as glass blowing goes. We're using the hydrogen torch uh, to get the extreme temperature we need to work the material. It's almost a thousand degrees hotter than uh, working Pyrex. Um, so here we go. Um, one of the things, uh, I got the hydrogen flame on right now, it's really hard to see the hydrogen flame, uh, it's almost invisible, and this is a uh, quartz torch here, and I just have hydrogen on right now, no oxygen. It's a very clean, um, real deep blue flame, and as I add a little oxygen, uh, we can see it's, uh, it really comes out to a sharp, fine, long point. Uh, hydrogen's really small atoms. Uh, very light so they flow really fast and gives you a really interesting flame characteristic as opposed to propane or a heavier hydrocarbon fuel. Anyway, we got the torch on, we're kind of doing a little bit of just uh, soak. Uh, silica has basically uh, almost no appreciable thermal expansion coefficient so you can really just go right in with the flame, not have to worry about thermal shock. Um, but as a good practice to get good results, I like to have uh, the parts hot and warm anyway, just because uh, you get a little bit better results. So uh, you have very little time outside of the flame in which the material remains liquidous so that you can actually work it. So I uh, use really high speeds on the lathe and uh, I gotta put a lot of heat into it. So here we go. I'm going to let this soak and uh, kind of warm up a little bit here. Uh, one of the main things with quartz is cleanliness. Uh, it's absolutely imperative that the piece be clean. Uh, you get something called devitrification. Uh, any carbonaceous compounds or oils, fingerprint oils or anything that get on the surface, uh, at the flame, at the temperatures that you're working the material, that oil will actually um, break down the silica bonds and destroy the the characteristics that quartz is so prized for, um, its optical and mechanical properties, and it makes it porous and, and uh, translucent and just not, not very pleasant. So, um, yeah, we keep everything very clean. Uh, quartz has almost no emissivity, uh, so every speck of dust you, any contaminant you see on the surface of the material, it glows and emits light. Uh, much more efficiently than the quartz material does. The quartz just doesn't emit light. It's got a very low emissivity as a black body radiator. So uh, it's very interesting when it's in the flame. Uh, you actually have to get it white hot to work it. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here and we'll uh, take a look and see what's going on. Like I said, I'm just gonna pull a point. I'm just gonna test tube this, bring it in two halves and make two test tube halves. Um, so here we go. We've got our two halves, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and clean these up uh, and get them ready uh, for the parts. So I'm actually okay with that little pip that's left in here. It's actually something I want for my design uh, for the part that calls for it, and uh, we're just going to flatten out the bottom a little bit. One of the things with quartz, uh, you just have to give it a lot of time to get what you want out of it. 
It doesn't like to move. It doesn't get nearly as liquidous as uh, borosilicate or soft glass or um, other glasses. So you have to give it a lot of temperature and you just have to give it a lot of time uh, to do what you need it to do. You can't force it and make it move quick. Uh, and you use very light air pressure and uh, it's a real play with temperature. You want to avoid bloom, so you have to use the right amount of heat. You don't want to use too hot of a flame and over temp your quartz material and start vaporizing it. And, and, and then you get this vaporized silica that deposits outside of the, the heat of the flame down the colder spots of the glass and it just uh, it, it starts to become a problem. So using the appropriate amount of heat is really important so that you can get, get what you need out of it without just getting a real mangled up piece uh, and then you have to etch it out, either burn it off or etch it out in hydrofluoric acid which is just bad, bad stuff. So anyway, we're going to clean this up and that'll be that. Thanks for watching.